This video will be kind of interesting. I think I would find it interesting. So I, I got a new 2016 MacBook Pro without the touch bar. It has two USB-C input. So you will need adapters to plug in anything at the moment. So I ended up getting the Apple USB-C digital AV multi-port adapter. I'm just gonna call it USB-C hub. Um, the retail price is $50. You can get this from the Apple store or Best Buy, but I ended up getting an opened unit. So it costs me severely less and uh, I'm pretty lucky to find it. But anyway, this is what it has. It will be USB-C to USB-C, so you can charge your MacBook Pro or plug in a USB-C device, HDMI, as well as a USB. I'm assuming it's a 3.0 port. It might be 3.1, but that is what you will get. As far as plugging in goes, you can just plug it in. So after you plug it in, this is what you will get. It requires an update, but in later versions of Mac OS, it might be implemented, but it's not the end of the world. It required a restart, and the restart took more than I expected, but that might be because it was updating other stuff as well. So after that was done, here is the first test subject, and that is a wireless mouse nothing fancy so i plugged in the usb and then it just started working wow didn't expect that to happen no i actually did but anyway so so after that was done this is where the video gets interesting in my opinion so i have i have a usb 2.0 hub so i decided to plug that in and see if that works and surprise it works but yeah, it worked. So after that, I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna make sure it works. So I plugged in my, my mouse again. And after that worked, I started plugging in other stuff. Uh, the first, the second thing I plugged in was my keyboard, my really old keyboard, but I like it a lot. It's the Microsoft keyboard. I think it was designed for Windows 98, maybe even. Uh, the keyboard setup assistant will pop up. Um, uh, so now we have keyboard and a mouse. We need to set up the monitor because you want it to be a whole, whole desktop setup. So after I plugged that in, plugged in my monitor, the it popped up. It was mirroring the display on both screen, but I actually wanted to utilize uh, both of my screens real estate, so I wanted to do extended monitor setup, so I will do that later But anyway, this is what the USB-C hub looks like and I have the USB 2.0 hub just behind my monitor and It's kind of hidden Here is how you can just change it. So it's extended display very simple process the arrangement was uh, messed up so I, uh, I put my MacBook Pro on the right, and then that white little bar is how you change the primary display. So this is what my setup looks like, even right now as I'm editing this video. As a matter of fact, I like it. It just, now I need to plug in just one thing uh, to make it into a whole desktop setup. And and it's kind of cool. If you're If you want more, uh, if you want to see more MacBook Pro 2016 videos, uh, subscribe. Otherwise, don't. No, I'll have other stuff. Thank you.